For this next repair section, let's start by open, opening this SolidWorks part faucet solid. Sometimes the tools in the repair tab are not designed to fix some issues in some models. If we go ahead and take a look at our structure tree, we have a single surface and the stitch tool finds no edges to be stitched. The gaps tool finds no gaps in the model and the missing faces tool finds six missing faces, which if I click the check mark is not able to repair all of them. And if I go ahead and zoom in on what the problem area looks like, we can see that it does not even look like good geometry. Anytime we have shadows, it usually indicates that the face is overlapping itself. And if I escape out of the missing faces tool, you'll notice some weird phenomenon as I try to select some of these faces and edges. Uh, some things are hard uh, to be selected. I'm not even clicking on this edge, and over in this area, it will select that edge. So this is what's considered corrupt geometry. And one really creative way is found in our insert tab and it involves putting a shape over that corrupt geometry and that shape is typically a sphere. To use the sphere tool, you can turn on the tool, click once to start the sphere that sets the center and then you could either type in a value to determine its diameter or you can just move your cursor away and click a second time to create that sphere. Notice in the tree that we have created a new solid. This is not part of that surface body yet. It's just its own body. And we could go ahead and put uh, multiple spheres in. Uh, if I escape out of the sphere tool and I pre-select something and turn on the sphere tool, it'll go ahead and put a sphere around what I've selected. If the sphere is too big or too small, I could always switch to my pull tool and pull that sphere bigger or smaller or if it's in the wrong location, I could always use the move tool and move that sphere around. But let's go ahead and go back into that sphere tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place a couple more spheres. Usually it's not a problem uh, based on the size if it's too big, uh, as long as you don't intersect other geometry that you're not trying to remove. So I wouldn't want to put a sphere this big in the model. We want to keep it uh, confined and constrained to the area where there's an issue. So I've gone ahead and put in six different spheres. It doesn't matter if I put a sphere over a sphere. And what we want to do is we want to merge these spheres into our surface here. So we're going to use the combine tool. And if you remember from the combine section, one shortcut to merge things together is to box select everything you're trying to merge turn on the combine tool and it'll go ahead and merge those together. Notice that we have just a single solid here. And if I were to go into a cross section through the middle of the part, we'll see that all of that bad geometry has been absorbed into the part. Now we don't actually want these spheres there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select them holding control while we click them and then we'll go ahead and turn on the fill tool and it'll go ahead and remove all those extra spheres. And to verify that we have nice clean geometry after the fact, I can click on this face and it tells me I have a plane down here or I can click on any of these other spheres and it tells us we have a sphere. If it told me I had a spline, that might indicate the geometry is still corrupt, but here we can see the geometry is nice and clean. We have a solid icon in our structure tree and we can go ahead and move forward with what we need to do with this model.